Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with roast rack of lamb with blueberry barouge. That's right, it's been a while since we've done a rack of lamb video, and with the Easter feast fast approaching, I figured this would be a perfect time. And all Barouges is a red wine based pan sauce, but to make things even more delicious and I think gorgeous, we're gonna use some beautiful fresh blueberries, and this really did turn out fantastic. So let me show you how to put it together. It's super easy. So first up, you need some nice rack. In fact, two nice racks to be exact. All right, we're going to season those generously on both sides with salt and black pepper. All right, those are fully trimmed, your standard eight bone rack of lamb right from the supermarket. And then in a skillet over medium high heat, we're going to sear those in just a little bit of vegetable oil until well browned on both sides. And actually, forget about two sides. You can go three sides. If you want, you can actually lean them against each other and also sear that edge which works nicely. All right, once that's well browned, I want you to turn off the heat. We're gonna remove those from the pan. And then we're gonna paint those with just a little bit of a seasoned mustard that you're gonna to put together as follows. Take a little bit of Dijon mustard. We're gonna add a little bit of minced fresh rosemary, some cinnamon, and a little bit of cumin. And we're gonna give that a stir. And when that's all mixed together, we're gonna to spread that over our racks, a very thin layer. This is something that we're just barely gonna taste underneath the more prominent flavors, okay? So very subtle, yet very important. And there's something about a little hint of cinnamon that works particularly well with lamb and blueberries for that matter. And luckily, both those ingredients are present in this dish. So I was pretty sure that was a good choice, and as it turns out, it was. So once we have a nice thin coat of that seasoned mustard on the lamb, we're gonna set that aside, and we're gonna prep our pan sauce. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw a sliced shallot into the exact same pan we browned our lamb with a nice big pinch of salt. We're gonna put the heat on medium, and we're gonna sweat those shallots until they just start to soften a little bit. Now, I was very stubborn here. Usually there's enough fat left in the pan to saute these nicely, but my pan was like too dry. And for whatever reason, I refused to add any more oil. So this took me like six or seven minutes. If you add just a little tiny splash of oil, those shallots will get golden brown a little quicker, but no big deal. Five or six minutes later, mine looked like that. At which point I added some fresh blueberries. And I think this is one of my favorite scenes of the year so far. I don't know why, that just looks really gorgeous to me. So my heat's still on medium. I'm gonna give those a stir. And as soon as they turn kind of black and shiny, we're gonna go ahead and deglaze with some red wine. So I'm gonna dump in a cup of red wine. I'm gonna turn off my heat and I'm just gonna stir that with a wooden spoon. And as you know, that liquid's gonna cause all those delicious caramelized juices from the bottom of the pan, from the shallots in the lamb to release and dissolve into that liquid. And that's gonna produce a perfect base to roast these rack of lambs over. So the heat's off. We're gonna go ahead and place our lamb back on top. And the nice thing about racks of lamb, you can push those bones together to form kind of a lamb zipper. And that's gonna allow that to roast nice and evenly. So just push those together. I'm gonna give the top one last hit of fresh black pepper. And then we're gonna place the entire thing into a preheated 375 degree oven for approximately 20 minutes or until you reach a nice medium rare, which is gonna be about 125 internal temperature, which is what I have right here. In fact, you can see those beautiful pink juices escaping from the hole I made with the thermometer. And even though I used a thermometer, I still like to push with my finger so I can keep reminding myself what medium rare feels like. And of course, we're gonna remove that from the pan to a cutting board to rest for at least five or six minutes, which is perfect because that's how long it's gonna take to finish this amazing pan sauce. So while the lamb's resting, we're gonna go back over to the stove. I'm gonna drizzle in about a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. I'm gonna put our heat onto medium high. I'm also gonna add a little more salt. Of course, you're tasting throughout the process. You know the drill. You cannot be sheepish about seasoning your lamb sauce. So make sure you're always tasting and adjusting. All right, we're gonna give that a stir. And like just about every single pan sauce we've ever done, we're gonna bring this to a simmer. We're gonna reduce it by about half, which of course is gonna make it thicken up just a hair. It's gonna look something like that. At which point you're gonna turn off the heat, stir in a chunk of butter. And when the butter's incorporated, you're done. And by the way, my camera really does not like butter in dark sauces. I mean, talk about saturated fat. Oh yeah. So toss in the butter. Remember the heat's off. Just keep it moving, keep stirring, keep shaking the pan. And when the butter's melted, and when you've given it that final taste for salt, pepper, and possibly off the record cayenne, you're ready to serve. All right. So our sauce is ready. Our lamb should be rested. Final step, of course, is cut into it and feast your eyes on the glory that is rack of lamb roasted over a blueberry sauce. Look how perfect and juicy that meat is. I think there's something about it roasting over that sauce. 
It adds so much humidity to the oven. I really love the results of this technique. It's almost too juicy and amazing. As far as portioning, half a rack is perfect for one person. I usually cut that in half to make two nice chops. And then you know how this story ends. You're gonna throw those on a warm plate, possibly with some roasted potatoes. You're gonna spoon over your sauce and you're gonna experience an incredibly flavorful, delicious lamb dish. Like I said earlier, just a regular Beurre Rouge is beautiful on lamb. But when you add the subtle sweetness and tartness of the blueberries and the flavor from the shallot and the little bit of rosemary and spice in that mustard glaze, you're talking about something very special and something, in my opinion, that would make a very memorable Easter feast. And of course, I didn't care that much, so I just spooned my sauce over the top. If you want this to look fancy, put the sauce underneath. And yes, you absolutely have the option to strain out those blueberries. But I kind of enjoyed the appearance and the texture, so I didn't. But anyway, that's up to you. When it comes to lamb, you are the man. But regardless, like I said, the technique of roasting over the pan sauce, I think really works well. So instead of resurrecting one of those old, standard, boring leg of lamb recipes, I thought maybe you'd want to try something new. And this is definitely something a little different from the normal Easter lamb recipe routine. So I really hope you give it a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.